Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Bari. Thank y'all for tuning into the channel. We back once again with another little video. If y'all don't forget that like, comment, and subscribe, and turn the bell so y'all be notified when I drop some more lit banger. <laughs> so today, 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 y'all can tell by the title what we about to get into. So today is my first mukbang, y'all. This is my first mukbang on the channel. I'm dropping back, back to back videos. So today we're gonna be having. I got some yaka meal right here. Y'all can see seafood egg rolls. So got the seafood egg rolls. We got the yaka meal. Now this is my first time ever doing like eating yaka meal. So it's super juicy. Y'all can see it's a lot of juice. Got got juice noodles. Uh, I think it's what is it? Steak and beef and got some eggs in it. Then you got the seafood uh, egg rolls. Y'all, I really never really liked the egg rolls until I started eating the egg rolls. And it come with some sauce for the egg rolls too, or whatever. So, yeah, y'all go tap in with all about flavor. Uh, I, have, I have ate the egg rolls before, but I never ate the yakimine. So this, my, this will be my first time ever eating yakimine. I hope y'all can see me. But this will be my first time ever eating the yakimin or whatever. Got me a little juice or whatever. So, I first, we're going to start off with this though. This is my first time ever trying it. Let's see. Let me scoot a little bit closer. Y'all, I fuck with it. I ain't gonna care. Like, I just thought really buzzing. It got shrimp in it too. I really like it because like the juice, it's seasoned just right. It's not too salty, you know, like, you have some stuff where it be kind of salty. Or like the juices be too, like all the like stuff they put in it just go into the juice. But I feel like they actually season the juice just right because it's like it marinating in your mouth. But it's an cut. It, it is the juice. It is a little bit spicy. It got a little kick to it, but it ain't too spicy. But um, we about to try the egg. I really want to try the egg. I just see this on TV, but I never tried it before. The fuck the egg. But I really don't, I never, well, even. I, um, I hate the yolk of the egg, I ain't gonna count. But, not that I hate this, but like the yolk or any egg, I hate it because it be so. The texture of it. But, I know like, what I do really enjoy, that like everything breaks down so easily, like. Like the steak. It breaks down so easy. Like you don't gotta chew it that much. But I ain't like it is a little spicy though. But it ain't too spicy. I don't re really even like spicy food. But I find this really hitting though, not gonna lie. Now we about to try. The seafood egg roll. It got shrimp in it, uh, crawfish meat, and I don't know what's other stuff, but this sauce be busting though. I ain't gonna cap. I can see. Mmm. Dog. The sauce be busting, y'all. Not gonna cap. It's all really buzzing. So I thought I'm smacking. Super Bowl. 
They go hit every time. I'm not gonna count. Ain't like it's a little bit. It's a little bit of kick to that, but the way you, I'm telling the way it tastes, especially with the sauce, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna worry about it. But um, I say, but uh, all this right here with this and this and the C4 egg rolls, you gonna get four egg rolls every time. And this the this the whole thing of uh, Dr. Me. I'm gonna just start from like, well, look at all these noodles, bro. Like, you're not gonna eat this. And everything be fresh, like everything be fresh, like they cook it right there in front of you. Well, not like in front of you, but like it's a food truck. Like, so they cook everything and be fresh, so. I find it it's very worth it. Ain't like you know fast food where the stuff is be like already cooked and they gotta melt it. All that stuff is fresh, like fresh shrimp. All that stuff be fresh. So if y'all in the picky area around, okay, like slide out, go for it. Anywhere, uh, go tap on how about flavor. I put their I put their social media right here. So yeah, I go shop with them, go go with them. But uh, where y'all been up to today, y'all? Today's been a pretty good day. Today Thursday, tomorrow almost Friday. This a damn earthquake? Is this an earthquake? What the fuck? Oh, she just shaking. It's like an earthquake. But we in Mississippi. I don't think we supposed to have an earthquake. But, uh, but yeah. Like, I'm just trying to get back into the YouTube spirit. Like, I'm doing mukbang now, vlog. Just trying to get to it, trying to be consistent for y'all, bring out some lit content. You know, like, I, like, I ain't been asleep all day. I don't care. Just trying to think of ideas and edit videos and stuff like that. But, but my goal for for this year is really just to be consistent and focus on one thing and get it done. Because like if you person know me, I ain't say person know me, but like I just tend to like be on one thing and the next day I'll be on another. I don't know. I can never just focus on one thing and get it done. I'll find something that's interesting. Like one week I'll be wanting to do this, next week I wanna do this, next week I'll be wanting to do that, but I don't know. It's just crazy how like it's only just crazy how I be doing that shit. But I'm really trying to focus on one thing this year. You know why? If y'all know this, I deleted a lot of videos on my channel. I uh I really wanna start fresh, like I done cut my hair. That's what I do. Just get in the gym. And that's bad because I'm eating this, which I think this is healthy, but this day might be a little bit bad, but you know. I'm really trying to get in the gym. Once I lose weight, I feel like I'll really be more positive. And sorry if I'm slouching over, I'm just sitting down low because I don't know if y'all can see me or not. And I want to be in the frame. But uh but yeah. I want to be make a change this year and it's my habits like start eating a lot of junk food and start eating late at night and focus on one thing and then get my business rolling that's one thing i really want to do this year though not gonna cap but your stuff is popping i ain't gonna lie but I i'm gonna fall already
Look, I'm full already. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. Like, see that? I didn't eat that much, bro. I'm already full. So we're gonna say this for later. Not gonna lie. We're gonna say this for later. I'm gonna say that for later too. I'm not gonna force myself to eat. But yeah, that's I ain't gonna lie. I feel like it was worth thirty dollars. Like this is no way that you can eat this in one sitting. It's gonna last you about a full day. I feel like you eat some of this. This will last you for for lunch and dinner. I'm not gonna lie. And the egg roll is gonna bust. Like I could, if I would have never ate this, well, I don't know why I, I did eat something before. Uh, I went and got it. So that's why I really could finish it. But even though I probably ate a little bit more, but I wanna eat too much more. But cause I, I really the egg roll is gonna fill you up and this definitely gonna fill you up. So y'all go tap in with them. They do a great job what they do. And this day, this is not the only thing they serve either. They got a lot of they got a whole menu. I, when I put they went to the thing, y'all go check out their menu and stuff like that. Um, I give it a 10 out of 10. This is my first time ever tasting this before. I think this kind of reminds me of the little soup that they have at the little uh, the hibachi place. But you know, the hibachi, it kind of taste like seasoned, like salt water. But this stuff really tastes like they actually, it's like they season the juice itself separate from the other food. I don't really know. But uh, yeah, y'all check them out though. Uh, I don't know. I don't really know what to do with this. Uh, you know, with mukbang and stuff like that. Um, I'm gonna use for to talk and eat. And one of the reasons why I never did it because it's kind of hard for me to talk and eat at the same time. Like I focus on eating more than talking, but I'm trying though. You know, I'm just trying. But, <clears throat> but yeah, I feel like I guess I give it a ten out of ten. Um. What else can we talk about before I end the video? Uh, comment down below what some stuff y'all want to accomplish. I don't know if I'm in the camera or not, but I'm kind of tired of sitting, squatting down. But y'all comment down below and tell me what some stuff y'all want to accomplish for 2024. What's y'all goals and stuff like that. Um, what else? And... Um, What's some other stuff that's happening? Uh, oh yeah. How y'all feel about who won the Super Bowl, I guess? How y'all, do y'all feel like Pat Mahomes should have won it? No, 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 I know. Who y'all think gonna go to the Super Bowl in 2025? Y'all know it would be crazy, like, like y'all, <clears throat> I live like 30 minutes from New Orleans or whatever, so like, I go to Bourbon Street a lot. I don't go a lot, but Bourbon Street right down the road, New Orleans right down the road, the Super, the Super, Super Dome right down the road, and y'all know the Super Bowl gonna be in New Orleans next year. So that's around, that's around Mardi Gras. So if y'all don't know what Mardi Gras is, Mardi Gras is like a Southern thing. I know this, uh, like Deep South thing. And it's like we have like, we get on floats and we celebrate. Like, I don't really know what Mardi Gras is, but we just celebrate Mardi Gras. And it's like a, uh, Louisiana thing, but we do celebrate in Mississippi too and Alabama. But the real celebration is in Louisiana, like New Orleans and stuff. I just know it's gonna be so crazy down there next year because like it's gonna be Mardi Gras and the Super Bowl right in the same week. But it's gonna be crazy, like and that's my goal for next year though, is to be able to take my whole family to the Super Bowl. Cause it's gonna be right there, cause like so that's like, that's gonna be perfect. Like that's my, and I know y'all gonna be like, bro, like that's that's crazy. Like two bro takes like ten thousand dollars, bro. I don't care. Like that's my that'd be like a big accomplishment if I could bring my whole entire family to the Super Bowl and you know get the whole experience to watch the Super Bowl. That'd be crazy. Like that's one of my things I want to put on my bucket list. I I really pray. I'm a grind hard. I got well, we in February almost in March. I got about ten more months. About 10, 11 more months to uh, get to it. I feel like it's possible. Well, I ain't gonna say I feel. I know it's possible. And y'all just stick around and watch the journey, y'all. Like I'm. That's why I'm getting dedicated for these videos, y'all. I'm gonna be able to do it though. I promise y'all. And I'm gonna bring y'all along with me too. So when I do it, that's gonna encourage all y'all to do it too, and stuff like that. <clears throat> but we about to end the video. But like I said, every video we're doing. 
uh, uh, we're going to do a positive quote before we leave. So I got to hit y'all with a positive quote today. So the quote the quote the quarter today going to be go confidently confident confidently in the direction of your dreams live the life you have imagined. So <clears throat> basically, what that saying is basically go to full throttle hard as you can and confidentially as freak towards your goals, bro. Like towards your dream, like whatever you dream that you want to be. Go hard and, and be confident about that and be passionate about it. Don't let nobody tell you no. Don't let your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, your auntie, nobody, even your girlfriend or your boyfriend, don't tell, don't let them tell you nothing. Like if you really believe in what you believe in, bro, like I told you, I wanna I'm I'm gonna get these tickets to go take my whole family to the Super Bowl, y'all. Like, to some people probably gonna be like, bro, what the hell? I promise you, like, like it's so much stuff that I done prayed about that it came true, y'all. That's how I know it's possible. So just go hard at your dreams, bro, and stick to it and don't give up because, like, I done met a lot of people I never would have thought I'd have met, contacted a lot of people I never would have thought I'd met, I would have met. Life is crazy. You don't never know what you what rooms you could be in. But, yeah, that's the quarter of the day. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm going to do another quarter. I feel like this is crazy. It's, it's a small quote. But it says nothing is impossible. I feel like that's that look. Them three words are more impactful than what I was saying the whole time. Nothing is impossible. So the quote of the day gonna be: Nothing is impossible. Remember that. Let that sink in. Hope you have a good day. Thank y'all for tuning in to Playboy Bar. Like I said, shout out to Hall About Flavor. Y'all go check them out on Facebook and Instagram. I will put their logo in the thing. All that stuff, y'all can find them. And like I said, this is Yakimin, Egg Roll, Seafood Egg Roll. They got a whole menu of other stuff that's amazing. So yeah, y'all go check them out. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And if y'all new, go comment on my Instagram, Playbobari underscore, or Bari filmed it. And comment and say, I'm, I'm tuned in from the video. And comment the quote I just put, nothing is impossible in one of my pictures. And I'll follow y'all back and stuff like that. But I love y'all. Hope y'all have a good day. And yeah, Bobar, we out. Gang.